Hello folks, welcome to the seventh demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I'm gonna explain about the carousel design of our homepage. This video is gonna be even shorter than my previous video because I'm completely designing this with the help of Bootstrap. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this. First, let's go to our web browser to see our design. As you can see here, this is the homepage of our eShop. And this is the carousel of it. We can go back and forth between images inside this carousel using these arrows. Then you can use these buttons to go back and forth between these images too. There are three images inside this carousel and they are keep changing according to a set interval. This carousel shows our first image with the title as Welcome to eShop. Below that there is a text which is saying world's best online shopping experience at your fingertips. Then our third image shows with the title as Be Free Too. Below that there is a saying as experience the lowest delivery charges with us. Ok now let's get into coding side of things. Before that let's go to Bootstrap's official site to see the actual carousel that we are using for our design. So I am going to the docs section of getbootstrap.com. On the docs section under the components tab there is a sub tab as carousel. Inside of that there is a carousel type called with captions. So to use this carousel inside our design we are just directly copying this full code of this carousel using this button here. Then inside of Visual Studio Code we can make further changes to this code to make the carousel exactly as we want. Ok now let's go to VS Code shall we? Alright now I am inside Visual Studio Code on home.php file. As you can see this is the complete code of our bootstrap carousel. Then we need to link some other files inside this home.php file to bring our carousel to its working state. First I am linking bootstrap.css file inside the head tags of our home.php file. Secondly I am linking bootstrap bundle.js file by the end of the body tags. Ok now let's go back to the codes of our carousel. As you can see there are so many bootstrap classes inside this carousel design codes. Now I am gonna show the further changes that I have done to the basic carousel design codes that was provided by bootstrap. First I added another bootstrap class as carousel fade to this part to give a cool fading look when the images are changing. Then I added our custom images to the carousel as you can see here. To make our images look exactly as we want, I am adding our own class as post images here, then I am stylizing it inside the style.css file. Then I added a post title to our first image like this. Then you can see my custom post text here. To make our post text look exactly as we want, I added our own class as poster caption here, then I am stylizing it inside the style.css file. Then you can see the poster title of our third image here. Then you can see the poster text below it. To make our post text look exactly as we want, I added our own class like this, then I'm stylizing it inside the style.css file. Ok folks, that's all the important things that I have to explain about our carousel design. So I'm wrapping up this part. Stay tuned for the next part. See ya.